My name is Travis IQ, and this is host hardening in under three minutes. First, host hardening is the act of securing your endpoints. Endpoints can be anything, printers, servers, laptops, tablets, desktops. As a result, this is going to be a holistic overview of securing all of those endpoints. Number one is restricting physical access. If we are to give up physical access to our system, that will result in compromise 100% of the time. Number two, regular backups. We don't think of backups as a component of security all the time, but it is. We should be able to utilize backups to remediate incidents. If we have an incident occur, then we should be able to immediately go back and restore from backups. That is a security component. Number three, operating system and application level patching. Operating systems and applications will always be rolling out patches to new vulnerabilities as well as feature updates, and we should be rolling out these operating systems and ap application patches with in a very timely manner. Number four is minimizing the number of applications. Users will want applications installed, other components of the business will want applications installed, and as security folks, it's our responsibility to make the decision as to whether these applications are necessary or unnecessary. Minimizing open ports or listening servers is number five. That means services that are listening on this device that are being able to be accessed or to be utilized by other protocols. Examples include Windows SMB, RDP, UPnP, SSDP. These are protocols that are used to set up services or enable file sharing or any number of other things. If you're not familiar with some of these services, go ahead and look them up or take a look at some of our other videos. Number six, installing endpoint detection, host-based AV, endpoint uh, protection platforms, Intrusion prevention, IDS, I know this is a bulk description here, but any number of these any number of these security tools can be installed on endpoints and utilized as a as a component of host hardening. Number seven, configuring local or network-based authentication. There is any number of ways to configure authentication, but requiring authentication and utilizing strong authentication with strong passwords, strong password policies, and multi-factor and or multi-factor authentication is extremely important and represents a, a primary component of host hardening. Number eight, minimizing the instance of administrator and root accounts. We wanna have the minimum number of administrator or root accounts as humanly possible so that these accounts are less likely to be compromised as reducing our footprint host hardening. Number nine, eliminating shared accounts. Shared accounts should never be used. There are a number of reasons for this, notwithstanding the fact that it makes it really difficult to audit what users are doing. And finally, number 10, regular auditing of all of the above. Account permissions, current configuration versus baseline, physical security, physical penetration testing, logical penetration testing, regular auditing of all of these systems is extremely important to make sure that we are compliant with what we were trying to do in one through nine. As, as is always the case, engineer, break stuff, have fun, let's do it again. Okay.